my name is Mara Zelt. I am going to be presenting uh, work from our group at the University of Nebraska called Swine Manure and Cedar Woodchip Applications, Improving Soil Ecological Indicators and Soil Moisture. This project is part of a many year set of projects looking at the effects of manure and wood chips on various soil health properties in on-farm research settings across the state. This particular project, we're going to evaluate the soil biological quality, uh, QBS, which is a measure of arthropod adaptation and diversity within soil, measured by what's called an ecomorphological index, EMI, and how that's affected by the application of manure and wood chips. Uh, to do this, we set up 12 plots on a farm in southeastern Nebraska, a dryland field, which were arranged in a completely randomized block design of three treatments, a control with no treatment, a swine slurry of 4,200 gallons per acre, and the same application of swine slurry plus a 10 ton per acre application of wood chips. Five times throughout the season, we sampled uh, the soil in the top eight inches of our plots uh, to collect about one gallon of soil from each plot on each sampling day. And we returned with the soil to our lab where we placed that uh, material in what's called a Berlesi funnel, which extracts the arthropods from the soil using a heat lamp at the top of the funnel, which creates uh, hot and dry conditions, which makes the arthropods go to the bottom of the funnel where we have placed a jar of 70% ethanol solution where they will be preserved until we're ready to analyze them. And we'll look at them under a microscope to identify to the family or order level what types of arthropods we're seeing. And then for each of the specimens that we observe, we'll assign to them an ecomorphological index score between 1 and 20 based on their adaptation to deep soil conditions. And, and you can see that in the table uh, here, uh, the different orders and families that we, we considered. One is a low for types of um, arthropods that are not well adapted to deep soil conditions, and 20 is high. And some of these families have a range, um, and there in those cases, we would have to make a judgment based on what we observed about that particular specimen. So if you have low pigmentation, a low development of eyes or small appendages. So those would all be indicators of deep soil adaptation. And they would have a higher ecomorphological index score um, for that specimen. And then to determine the QBS, the soil quality for the whole sample, we would um, make a sum of the EMI scores for each of the families that we observed. What we found was that the uh, swine slurry plus wood chips application indeed increased the overall um, QBS for our samples. However, when we digged a little bit deeper, we observed that um, that effect was mostly driven by a significant difference in the soil moisture content. So on the days where we had soil moisture increases on here 54 and day 99 and the soil moisture under the soil where we had applied soil or swine slurry plus wood chips was significantly higher than for control or for manure. That same difference was mirrored in the soil quality index um, where we had higher level uh, soil quality index compared to control. And so this is an indicator that um, the of the importance of soil moisture on uh, the diversity and the um, level of arthropods that we're going to see in the soil, at least within the top eight inches. So our overall conclusions for this was that the application of the combination of wood chips and swine manure was beneficial for soil arthropods. It was also beneficial for the improvement of soil moisture. Further analysis um, that we want to do is to uh, to try and give us an idea of the how the different parts of these populations are changing with the treatment. So some of these 
uh, types of arthropods are indicators of a change in fungal populations within that environment because they're, they primarily feed on fungi or the level of organic material to decompose because they're decomposers. So we want to explore that data a little bit more and then um, be able to confirm these within other soil conditions or uh, climates or even different seasons to see whether this treatment effect has um, longer term or more maybe universal um, application. And uh, we'd like to thank uh, the funders of this project, the Nebraska Environmental Trust and all of our wonderful collaborators for their assistance.